Hi my YouTube family this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion please welcome to Home Garden and Fashion first of all i would like to thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and please do go to my Facebook fan page and give me a like there in today's video i'm going to talk about how you can take a simple sari and give some more decoration to it and make it a elegant looking now this sari basically had very little decoration so that's why it costs little less so when you buy a sari like this you if you have a lot of decorations it will cost you obviously more but um, you see initially it was something like this the flowers were something like this so which didn't have much and these are plastic sequins so this is also plastic sequin so this didn't cost too much and then I decided to give it a little bit more life so I added these rhinestones and the black sequins so I used two varieties of glitter dimensional fabric paint the gold and the silver so here some of them are gold and some of them are silver so like this one is silver and this one is gold so it giving you it's really a beautiful shine and a color now I have used big large mm, rhinestone white rhinestone and mm, two colors of glitter dimensional fabric paint black sequins and large white rhinestone that's what i use and i fill it in over here where the empty spaces were as you see the beginning over here how it is empty here empty here so these spaces i filled in with rhinestone sequins and paint and give it a shine so i'm going to do this throughout the entire sari and give it a truly shining feature so then i can wear it at everywhere beginning it was kind of like um, a sari which you can just wear for some occasions not very uh, too much work or too much glamorous but now i'm going to make it a little bit more party kind glamorous kind and all you need to do for this add some sequins rhinestone beads and you don't need to sew them you just use the glitter dimensional fabric paint and glue them in and this paint as i mentioned to you previously with all my videos about so now i'm standing there with 207 videos i started last year and with 207 videos is many many videos almost all of them beside few gardening videos all of them are on glitter dimensional fabric paint and i how i used it to create almost everything anything so and i wash them all in the washer dryer and it doesn't come off it stays good as long as you put enough and you're literally not pulling it out it stays in there and when you do pull it out it might damage the fabric but the product tend to stay there so um, this one uh, this kind of saris where there is not a lot of decoration all you need to do is just get some of this glitter paint uh, which is uh, for fabric t-shirt decoration paint and you use sequins bead rhinestones uh, and then just decorate it and use your imagination like you see over here I added this but this one this one over here is empty so you see how it's looking so dull but because of adding this gold color and the rhinestone over here it looks so shiny and bright so that's the whole concept the whole concept is just try to make it look shiny and bright with your paint and the beads sequins rhinestone when you buy these things you need to use your coupon if you when you use your coupon then it's a much reasonable price and you have to look for sale and a lot of times as I mentioned to you when I go to these thrift stores 
I buy a dress which is uh, say three dollars I buy it for a dollar fifty but a whole dress is made with sequins so I take out the sequins from that and use it on my sari most of the times these are donated by big store or some uh, someone donated them and they're barely used because as you see these party dresses are once or twice they wear and then donated because cannot wear the same party dress in all different parties you have to change either you have to change your dress or you have to change the friends so changing the dress is much more efficient than changing friends quickly now over here you see these are just nothing added now the, all these I will add the rhinestone bead sequence and that's how I'm going to transform this sari so you can do this with the uh, saris like this you can buy or just buy the plain this is kind of like siphon fabric but it's a little bit thick it's not very thin which is good sometimes you see you want to wear a little bit thick um, like suppose you're going to some celebration puja or a temple you don't want to wear really thin siphon because you don't want anything see through then again you are going night time some club or party then you want to wear thin and see through and party kind dressy kind so that depends so this one is a little bit thick mm, and you can buy like this and this came with the trim so uh, that this big trim which is almost I would say 10 yards will cost you a lot of money so this trim was already there and the basic structure the flowers everything there so it's very easy for you to modify and decorate just by adding things more because the structure is there the trim is there the fabric is all stitched up so you can buy sarees like this online or if you buying from someone came to sell somewhere and then you use less decoration sari buy them and then add more things and decorate yourself one of the things I don't like about this stitched sequence because the thread always come off and you see the sequence start coming off one by one. So I rather like this glitter dimensional fabric pen gluing because in this gluing there's no way of coming off. You see how tight this is? There's no way this one will come off. I mean the sari might get teared off but this thing will stay here. So now I'm going to decorate this one a little bit more and I will be done. So I wanted to show you how you can transform your sari. Buy something with less price and then add these things and transform. I'm going to look for very shiny black beads and I will add those beads here with glitter dimensional fabric paint. But I have to look for very shiny black beads or I can buy a shirt uh, from the thrift store paying little money and take out all the sequences uh, usually I buy the hair bands with all the sequence and take it out but I haven't found the hair band of this color or the black all black color I haven't found it usually there are all varieties of different color but I haven't seen the bl shiny black one or this one so I'm going to use black because this has all black and this silver color isn't actually silver because it's mixed with black so I could use the silver color I will see if I have no other choice but to just use the silver sequence I will do it but for now I'll just add the rhinestone and sequence and the paint all over and see how much it looks different and then I'll add more to it so don't forget to like subscribe comment and share and if you have saris, just just decorate it. Just don't think so much how it will turn out. Put your imagination and decorate it because it's your sari and you're going to be wearing it. And then to tell you the truth about these flowers or decoration, don't worry about the measurement different or looking different because when you're wearing this sari in your body nobody is going to measure that which flower is bigger than which flower the one you decorated nobody can measure that in your body so don't worry like when i added this flower you see this flowers bigger and this flowers little 
it's okay because it's just blend into a beautiful design they don't don't all don't have to be exact same size same shape it's your creation so go wild with it and just create and don't worry so much about being so perfectionist exactly the same thing same size uh, or just being perfect just do it uh, just have fun with it and then slowly you see you will be able to do many many more because you will like doing it then you will do many many more so I will be finishing this and I will move into making other studies and I'll share with you as I finish them since sari is a big thing it takes long time so thank you so much don't forget to like subscribe comment and share I will see you with another video and when I do finish this, I will share with you the picture.